All right, guys, this is gonna be the most inspirational video I've ever put out. And the reason being is because if you watched the last video, I tore my freaking bicep, but the show must go on. I'm so sorry. It's, it's okay. I feel bad because the entire video, I'm like, there's no way you can tear your bicep on a curl. No one's ever torn their bicep doing a preacher curl, and what happened? It, it's just so it stupid. Yeah. Looking back, okay, it was something I haven't done. Like, I do preacher curl curls for reps, but we were doing a heavy single, so different stimulus. You know, whatever. Mindset. But, like I said, the show must go on. So, it's leg day. It's perfect for you. It's gonna be leg day a lot of days. Every day now, basically. <laughs> yeah, and the irony of the whole situation is I don't really even train my legs anymore because I don't want them to keep getting bigger. Uh, you got more problems in your bicep again. Yeah, so the hamstrings <laughs> are gonna be growing, the quads are gonna get... Oh wait, bigger. now you pull up your shorts. Yeah, oh, yeah here. so... Uh, yeah, we have... SSB squats mm -hmm. and a so model. I have to kind of figure it all out. Uh, this is the start of the journey, the road to recovery, the comeback, EP1. <laughs> <laughs> EP1. No, don't number the series, please. We're going to number the series. It's going to be road to recovery for the next three years, even after it's healed. That's <laughs> <laughs> great content. <laughs> Uh, There's going to be some books and stuff too, right? Yeah, I'm going to put out books, t-shirts, okay. merch, apparel. Feel free to get one of my Patreon account, which I'm going to create today. What about a calendar that has those little motivational quotes? Like uh, all daily? you get is motivation and inspiration. You, you can turn lemons into a lemonade selling business. Yeah, it's, I'm going to, every business is going to be built off of this. <laughs> yeah. So we have a quad training day, right? That's what we're yes. doing? We're doing quads and hams. So... We're gonna do hams in my video, so you can check out my channel for the hamstring portion of the workout. The quad portion is interesting because the hamstring exercises you're gonna have no problem doing. I want to see what you can do with the safety squat bar with this. Yeah, we're so, gonna we're gonna figure it out. So this will be my initial. I haven't even touched the bar. You wouldn't let me touch the bar. So what you're seeing is like literally the the one take, the first take of my reaction mm -hmm. trying to figure this whole thing out. But like I said, I'm going through, guys. I'm a normal dude. I had an injury. You know, the worst thing we can do is not train, like hands down. So we're gonna train, you guys can use these ideas if you've had a similar issue with your upper body and I'm gonna take you guys through it, he's gonna help me out. We're gonna slam some quads. We're in this freaking amazing gym, which he has just put out his gym tour video. So go to his channel and watch that because there's too much crap in here that I don't even wanna make that video. So he did it for me and it ended up being like 40 minutes. So yeah, yeah so let's do it. <laughs> let's go, I wanna see what happens when you go to this bar. This is real inspiration, I gotta tell you, because this is less than 24 hours since the accident. This is the next day earlier than when we started a workout yesterday. Yeah. This is seriously like working around the injury. And this is a monolith. I've, I've never, I use a monolith one time in my life. Zero. Zero times. Yeah, this is the first time using a monolith. I've never, yeah. This is, <laughs> this is supposed to be authentic. I wanted to be the first one to have Joey in a mono rack, but he, he's, he's got this weird memory that he's making things up. Oh it's gosh. probably a dream. It was a dream. And, to, I don't know. All right, so. Okay, you uh, need to move. move. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll lift off the mono, okay? All right. You're clear. All right. He still walks it out. Yeah, he really has to <laughs> <laughs> I still walk it out. That's the reaction you want. Clearly, I have no idea what I'm All doing. Right. All right, first squat for man. <sighs> it's good, it's good. Arm feels okay. Uh, I can't really extend my arm, so right now my arm's kind of sitting in that natural sling position. So this is kind of pretty perfect, honestly, for what I'm doing. I'm not squeezing the bar too hard with my right hand, just kind of sitting there. How much does the bar weigh? Uh, 45 pounds. 45? Yeah, so this is 135. This is a Kabuki? Correct. Kabuki bar, I've never used this bar, so that's cool. Yeah, things are, things are, we're feeling, so wait, do I move? Well, you're going to have to. Now <laughs> Yeah. There you go. That's yeah. pretty graceful. It was good, yeah. Uh, I, I was talking to Joey. I mean, I was agreeing with you that it was graceful. You did a good job. This would be a good variation <laughs> for my arm. Uh, you know, I, don't, I think I'd have more issue with a straight bar because I have issue trying to extend my arm right now. So anything I can keep it in tight is good and also not rotating my wrist. That's where I get a lot of pain when I start rotating in. Uh, yeah, so basically, we're just gonna keep working up. What are we doing? Reps and sets. What are we thinking here? Well, I want to just work up until it's so heavy that I can't go heavier. But you don't follow what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, you just injured your arm, and that would be stupid for you to do that. So work up to a weight to where you feel like 
you're like, Getting okay, work. this is starting to worry me a lot, and then just kind of like maybe back down a bit. This is just what I'm thinking. I'm not like a sports therapist. I'm not like an expert in this, guys. <laughs> but I'm just like reasonable. Let's feel worried and back sort down. Sort of from reasonable. There. Just you know, just remember you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't hurt yourself. I just tore right. my bicep, and he's like, "We want to get you to the point of worry, and then back you down." <laughs> All right. You still have some hamstrings to tear, apparently. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, listen, I still got another arm to tear if I wanted to. Then with this leg day get really interesting. No handed squats. And David Goggins. Yeah. He is your opponent. Oh, yeah. This, look at it. You know what he's saying? And I'll it's Randy. I'll never be on your fucking podcast. Fuck you, I'm going to run through the jungle. And my camera guy's in better shape than you. You know who responded to me? Yeah. He did. Yeah? The Goggins actually responded to one of my uh, messages I had saved on my phone. And he really? said, stay hard. I Jesus, said, are you serious? I swear to God. That's all he said? Stay hard. I swear to God. Coolest thing ever. Cool. He, my life's complete. I'll go tear all my muscles. As long as I have my eyes to see that message, I'm fine. You don't need ears to hear it? What if he whispered it to you? <laughs> what if he said a voice message? I would just die. In the middle of it. Dude, how cool would it be if you sent one of those voice messages in your DMs and he just said, stay hard? I would save that audio file. I put it everywhere. Every like, you just it would be on a loop in my gym Stay all day. Stay hard. Stay hard. That'll Stay be your uh, ringtone. Uh, everything. My going to sleep music. My <laughs> alarm clock to wake up. My voicemail. It won't even be me. <laughs> you can message after that. Stay hard. <laughs> yep. Uh, this is a transformer bar from Kabuki, and you can adjust the, uh, the pitch of the weight, and uh, Joey can find a position that's harder on his back, and it limits the weight he can do, but it's easier on his arm, right? Yeah, yeah. So go ahead and get under it. Real quick, I was showing John, the cool thing about losing weight, check this out. Okay. I almost had to get a bigger belt, right? Because I was probably within these holes, when I was 275. Check this out. We can keep going. What? Oh my gosh. Look at this, guys. Wow. It's a corset. This thing is gonna have the best abdominal pressure I've ever felt. Can we do the mono? Yep. I'm gonna get power lifter. Two reps. There. Wow. Yeah. This is great. It's super convenient. Monos? Yeah. Yeah, if you have 50 people around you. Yeah. Go, <laughs> John. You know what, I, sometimes you just have to be happy with what you got, you know? What do we, what do we got? We got friends, we got a mono. We got royalty-free music playing in the background so low that even if it's not royalty-free, it won't get caught. We got Joey doing the workout. I'm, just, I'm happy I'm able to work out with you still. Yeah. Like when, when it happened yesterday, I was super bummed, of course, you know what I mean? But, you know, I really wanted to work out with you since it's great. Every time I train or I come here with John, we always get a couple good training sessions in, which is what you don't notice about YouTube class sometimes that doesn't always happen. Yeah, you know, no. like yeah. normally it's making content and we're taking breaks, and but like when him and I get to link up, it's fun. It's cool. We're gonna push some weight today. We're gonna actually uh, need to eat some food because we're gonna be tired. So have you shown your abs very much? No, I, I will a little bit. I'll show you my abs. I saw your abs yesterday for the first time. I was like, what the different. Hell? That's why his belt is like. He's yeah. got literally a six pack now. I'm staying under wraps, but the cut is strong with this one. Now, monolith is like a microcosm of like what makes a good workout partner and a, you know good workout experience between two people because it requires a lot of communication. You got uh, clear, you got to communicate the number of reps, you got to say rack, you got to pay attention to rack height, you got to load and unload plates for each other. So there's so much more going on than just like adding plates as you go up in a deadlift. Yeah. The other thing I, I did differently on this rep is when I unracked it, I just held my breath and went right for the rep. Where the last set, still trying to figure it out, I actually 
unracked it, took another breath, but then realized I didn't need to do that. Like once I'm set, I'm trying to get to the rep as fast as possible and not waste as much energy as possible. So, something cool. I love squatting. <laughs> I used to hate it for my whole life until uh, until last year. <laughs> what changed? I started knee wrapping my squats. Now my unknee wrap squats are strong. I don't have knee pain on squats anymore unless I do too much. You know, I don't know. Yeah. And I can still do a lot without becoming. You went through a ton of knee pain. Like, you I knee get, pain my entire life, man. Your squat and all that stuff. Yeah, I just changed my entire squat form. It took a while. What about your knees? Uh, my knees are pretty good, but I want to address this knee sleeve thing. I get asked every Ooh. freaking time when I put these knee sleeves on, like, you know, where are they? How can I get them? Guys, these are, like, do nothing. They just look cool. Yeah. What you want is knee wraps or actual thick neoprene knee sleeves. These straight up aesthetics. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not getting anything out of this. I do not recommend you buy them. Uh, Except and for style. only allow me to look cool and not you. So that's it. I'm glad I'm not the only one that does that because I'll often wear um, wrist wraps and cuffs on lifts that have nothing to do with it. Like a deadlift. <laughs> yeah, you dude. don't need cuffs on a deadlift. You, know? you just want to look like a wrestler. I do. I just want to look like a wrestler. And I get a lot of comments yeah. about you being in the WWE should join wrestling when I wear that exact outfit. You Are know? you influencing people? No, I'm just trying to come off a certain way. That's All right. All right, Joey, Is five that five respectful? Five hundo. Five hundo. All right, crank it up for you. Look at that. Review. It's fun, isn't it? She's yeah. like, I want to get some really good bokeh on this. Flip. Flat. Nice. Nice. That's solid. The, the thing about legs, I actually really haven't been training legs, uh, like I said, because I didn't want my legs to grow. I was actually doing a lot of knee tendon nights for a long time. Um, Try to put more focus on upper body. So a lot more volume, hypertrophy training, uh, using a lot more machines, isolation exercises. So this has been the first time I've really been like back squatting with a bar, uh, like kind of like a couple months really. And you're still gonna train your left upper body, yeah? My left upper body, yeah, because we're talking, uh, some research shows that if you train your opposite side, so the right side, it has the tear, the left side can maybe get some transfer and even some growth to the right side. The body is an amazing machine. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna hit the heck out of my left upper body. That's in the next video. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, you're gonna get a pump on just your left side, and then you're gonna stand there before and after, and it's gonna look really weird. Yeah, yeah. Because I've never even seen that before. I'm trying to like get a movie cast character for like a horror movie <laughs> that <laughs> just looks like a crazy mutant. Like the hills have eyes in a gym or something. Or, or Two-Face, I mean like a... Two-Face, or like the guy from the movie 300 who's kind of like hunchback. Like that's... Oh man, I forgot about that guy. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going for, so... <laughs> Dream big. Dream big, right? Dream big. Why look good when you can look really scary in that? <laughs> why? That's a strong man. Awesome. My back is super healthy. Flare. Up. Flare. Nice. Yeah. It's beautiful. I mean, it's art. It's great. It's a good day. It's a good day. 550 transformer bar. Bicep is in, in pain. Legs are getting stronger. Haven't squatted in eons. This is a good sign of the future. The future is looking bright. I gotta wear shades. Shades. Too anabolic. Yeah, they can't handle the shades. Wait, wait for that. Yeah. Get that a week. Let's make it happen. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Easy, dude. Heck yeah. <laughs> Feels good. How much? Uh, 65. What's your max? 700. Man, yeah, I know. You're looking good. Yeah, thank you. Behind the scenes, behind the scenes. Videoception. Let's go, big legs!
Let me keep going. Come on, come on. You got another. You got another. Let's go. Oh. He's got more, baby. He's got more. Get up, John. Okay. Split. is Whoa. definitely over 700 pounds. We just did 675 for a set of five. You could have kept going, dude. It's okay. Uh, Hell yeah, I'm proud of you. I don't need any more. I'll get, I'll get yeah. it later. Damn, so, dude. Thank you. That's fun. That was good. Oh, God! However, he's got the strongest smelling salts in the world. So if you're ever trying to fake uh, emotions or cry in front of people, go to the other room, take a huge <laughs> whiff, and you'll fool anybody. <laughs> I'm, I'm just so lesson. happy to be working out and training. You know, it's cool. Like, if you're in it for the long haul, guys, you're gonna have ups and downs, peaks and valleys. Sometimes you're gonna be really strong. Other times you're not gonna know what's going on. So the main thing is always keep training. And uh, yeah, so this is my non-inspirational, inspirational video as we continue on. Yeah, let's do tandem leg press. A tandem leg press. Yeah. Let's do it. Wait, are you doing anything? Wait, am I doing anything? I don't know. Dude. Two dudes on a leg press. Dude, we gotta, make, we gotta make this out to be harder than it really is. <laughs> I think you're doing all the work. Watch this, watch this, let me do it. You're going? Yeah, you don't do anything. Are you? I said don't. I'm trying not I'm to. Try not to do it. Okay. <laughs> wow, we're going to load this sucker up, aren't we? Put your, put your, put my arms. Dude, I don't know. I'm just like doing this. Woo! <clears throat> <clears throat> there you go. I think we can keep going. I don't, <laughs> don't feel anything. Templates per side? Well, uh, Randy is. Over here, he's gonna be our final stack, I think, here. Be the final topper here. How much yeah. do you weigh? 175. So? How many uh, 45 pound plates is that? Oh, shit, that's a good part. Uh, I'm gonna say six. Almost four. Almost four? Yeah, Some okay. people decorate and top their tree. We're gonna top our leg press with my It's not enough weight to throw them in. Let's see if you can keep what they want, right? Yeah. Three, two. Do it again when you're down there. When you're down at the bottom. Come on! Dude. I know, man. No, literally, you weigh a ton. <laughs> that was insane. It was great. <laughs> That's the kind of quad stimulus you just can't find in the local gym. This opens up a lot of training doors, you know? And you can add a, another human. Human resistance. Said, yeah. RPE Randy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, oh, Randy. Thanks, yeah. Randy. Thanks for the booze pretzel off of that. Need one of these. <laughs> Is your video boring quad extension? Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, don't get my heart rate up. All right, we're gonna wrap up uh, this leg or typically a, just a quad uh, session with some leg extensions. But thanks guys for tuning in for this quad session. Make sure you go over to Juju's channel where you watch us to show our hamstrings. Overall, it's been a fantastic time and just showing you guys that you can train around injury and through injury, uh, hence why my bicep isn't functional right now, but we are smashing legs. So 
follow the journey. Make sure you guys subscribe to Juji, subscribe to my channel, give it a like, share it with everybody and your frog in the stream. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Say lean, mean, strength, machine. Peace.